snake's going down. Don't move. Oh uh, fuck. You it. haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten year vet. Judo chop to the face. Oh, you're down. Fuck you. Safety's off now, bitch. How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move. Oh. Kill them all, Snake. See, real big boss, huh? That sounds Lower painful. Your weapon. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. She's got a fucking desert eagle. Fox. Snake. Oh, who's this bitch? Oh wait, it's Meryl. Snake. Except now that Meryl. I look at it. She is. Is that you? Just like what Vash said, she is fucking buff. Just look at the girth of her arm. It's amazing. What happened to your face? Don't touch me, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't touch me. Shoot. Accelerated you. aging. They don't know the cause. But yeah, she's fucking buff. Look at that. Look at her arm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said it at the same time she did. Meryl. You're my informant in the U.S. military. And... You must be the inspector sent by the U.N. It's got that ninja arm. I can't believe I, I died I... twice. Commander! And he got punched in the face. <sighs> And pushed aside like a bitch. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. That's a sweet First pose. Hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. It's a nice gun. <laughs> What is your problem? You okay? Yeah, diarrhea, man. <laughs> diarrhea. Mmm, <laughs> diarrhea. Love that delicious diarrhea. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area, and since then, this woman's been with him. Like, women are supposed to have big-ass hips and a small she upper body. Look like a combatant, probably some kind of advisor. And men are supposed scientist. to have medium-sized both. But fuck, she she's she's got the composure of a man, and don't fucking touch Snake. What the hell is wrong with you? Chop off so, your arm, bitch. You're the commander of this O-1 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man. See, look at the upper half. That's way too, way too thick. He's got it. He's got it going on. Sleeping giant is Jonathan. Oh, even the controller vibrates. What a bitch. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. See, look how fucking big her upper torso is. Finally. Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander. I've finished installing the sensors. Oh, he had the little ocelot thing going from Metal Gear Solid 3. Okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. 
Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. Uh, that's how Snake you does quit things, the unit. bitch. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. We're in a fucking war zone. No one cares. But I'm gonna get shot. I put the past behind. Oh my god. I'm done playing little love games. Snake's like, you better be, bitch. We're gonna get fucking shot if you keep talking. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of BMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? Okay, well... They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged it's supposed in combat to be small action, waste. Whether he's state army or PMC. Big thighs. But she's got like a. Each individual soldier is kind of small, ID but tagged with nano machines. Still injected into their bodies Fuck. for that purpose. Oh my. The nano machines <clears throat> keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. That's pretty data cool. is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. Ten o'clock. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nano machines, and you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. Johnny looks weird as fuck. At first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nano machines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their still position, use a knife. personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. You could, you could still. And the Patriots are behind this. Use a knife. Hallelujah, no. What are you talking about? Never mind. What the fuck? So the system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. No one said Lale Lule Lo. What the fuck are you talking about, Meryl? Both at Arms Tech Security, Crazy where it was bitch. developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. 
I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S.